We belong to him and to him we return anyway. That one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, getting a chance to stare at his face. And some people get to stare at him in Al-Jannah every day. Some people have it twice a day. Some people have it once a week. Getting a chance to consistently look at him subhanahu wa ta'ala because you love him. And that love that you had for him, it drove you. Everyone has something that drives them. Everyone has something that gets them out of bed every morning. Everyone has something that drives them to work and gets them through the day. The believer has pursuing the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And even if, and listen very closely to this, the mentality of the muhsin is as such, even if Allah did not have a Jannah prepared for us or a hellfire from which we seek refuge in Him, you still would not disobey Allah. You would still love Him. And that would still be enough of a driving force. As Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu said about Suhaib al-Rumi radiallahu ta'ala anhu, even if there was no heaven or hell, even if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not prohibit disobedience, lam he would never be able to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that's how intense his love is for him. I want you to think, dear brothers and sisters, the next time you're in a situation, the next time you're in a gathering, the next time you think about who you are, the next time you think about the hadith of al-ghurba, of being strange, Ask yourself, are you even ascending amongst your family members? 